I'm Tim Barnwell and welcome to the face of Appalachia. If you can hear me over all this noise, I'm standing at the edge of the woods in Asheville, North Carolina, and this has been going on for at least a couple of weeks and this is the middle of May. Chances are it'll continue for probably another month or so. I've had people walk by and ask me if it's crickets or tree frogs or even locusts, but it's none of those. It's actually cicadas, in this case, periodic cicadas. Although it sounds like I'm a science fiction movie from the 1950s, it's really just something that's normal when they start to mate. If you'd like to learn more about these, stay tuned and let's take a look. Encountering a cicada for the first time can feel like stumbling upon a creature from another world with their strange appearance and that unmistakable otherworldly sound. Right now, Brood 14, one of the largest and loudest cicada broods in the United States, is emerging across the Southern Appalachians. These cicadas haven't been seen here since 2008. For the past 17 years, they've lived underground as nymphs, not lying dormant, but slowly feeding on tree roots, waiting for their moment. Now they're rising by the millions, climbing trees, shedding their skins, and filling the air with one of the loudest sounds in nature. Back in the summer of 2008, this very brood hatched and vanished beneath the soil. In the dark, they fed on sap from tree roots, growing ever so slowly year after year. Then when the soil temperature hits just the right mark, something ancient stirs. All at once they emerge. They shed their skins, unfurl delicate wings, and reveal their final form, bright-eyed and driven by instinct. With only weeks to live, they race to mate and lay eggs before their time runs out just three to six weeks above ground, and then silence. But their legacy lives on below, where the next generation begins to cycle again. That iconic buzz you hear? It's a love song. Only male cicadas sing using special structures called timbles on their abdomens. Muscles flex these timbles hundreds of times a second, creating clicks that blend into a loud, vibrating drone. Their hollow bodies act like resonating chambers, amplifying the sound to incredible levels. When thousands sing together, the noise can exceed 100 decibels, louder than a motorcycle, loud enough to drown out conversation. It's the soundtrack of a summer 17 years in the making. Let's clear up a few things. First, cicada aren't locusts. Locusts are a type of grasshopper that swarms and devastates crops. Cicadas don't do that. They may look intense, but they don't bite, they don't sting, and they don't carry diseases. They're not harmful to humans or pets. While females do cut small slits and branches to lay their eggs, it's rarely a serious problem for trees. In the southern Appalachians, some say their return signals a long summer ahead, a reminder that nature's clock still keeps perfect time. When the trees begin to sing in May, it's a sign. The season has begun. Every 17 years, or 13 depending on the brood, these mountains come alive with a different kind of music. Cicadas are timekeepers stitching their emergence into the heartbeat of the land. For wildlife, it's a banquet. Birds, squirrels, raccoons, even black bears feast on the sudden abundance. Cicadas that fall into streams become snacked for fish, sending ripples of protein through the entire food web. These emergences remind us that time here doesn't just pass, it pulses in 17-year rhythms. And right now, it's cicada time. The first time I remember experiencing a cicada emergence was in 1991. We were camping with family and friends at Caves Cove in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Brood 14, the same brood emerging now, was filling the woods with a thunderous song, day and night. Sleeping was tough with that constant hum. They landed everywhere, even on our picnic table. Our six-year-old daughter and her friends were fascinated, picking them up, watching them crawl and take flight. It left a lasting impression. They've now witnessed this rare event just three times, in 1991, again in 2008, and now in 2025. After this, they won't see Brood 14 again until 2042. But that's the rhythm of these mountains. Things take time here. Good things, old things. Appalachia has its own clock. Ticking and acorns falling, frost on fence posts, and 17-year songs. Cicadas are just one verse in the long ballad of this place. 
So if you hear that rising hum from the treetops, that's the sound of a promise kept, a long wait fulfilled. Cicadas remind us that what lies buried can rise again, that even in stillness, life stirs. We'd love to hear your stories. Have you seen or heard cicadas where you live? Did you know that sound the first time you heard it? Share your memories and observations in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. On this channel, I hope to continue to honor the people, vibrant culture, and strong traditions of Appalachia. If you share my interest in the people and places I call home, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons to learn more about this way of life. The black and white photographs in our videos are taken from my three Appalachian themed books which are available online. You can find us at thefaceofappalachia.com and barnwellphoto.com and on Instagram at Tim Barnwell Photography. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.